100 jams where hit music lives. The Vito Pop Cat in the mix right there with Risky, Risky, yeah, everybody, Risky. Listen up, man. It's all about Chat Trap, letting you know what's going on in the media today. So, starting things off with, we're familiar, right, with four COVID-19 vaccines. That's Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson, and AstraZeneca. But there has been a long-awaited fifth vaccine called Novavax. So, Novavax has finally completed its U.S. Phase 3 trial, and the study shows that it is 90.3% effective across nearly 30,000 patients in the U.S. and Mexico. So I don't know if that one is exactly going to come our way, but I'm pretty sure they'll give us some more information on that to tell you whether you will need one shot or two shots from that vaccine. So just recently, cruise ships are back to sailing, but only allowing persons who are fully vaccinated and who shows proof of a negative PCR test to board. Unfortunately, we all are aware that even if you're fully vaccinated, you can still get infected with COVID-19. And this is exactly what happened to two passengers that were on board of the Celebrity Millennium Cruise, which was one of the first major cruise ships to sail since the pandemic began last year. The ship set sail on June 5th and made port stops into Aruba, Barbados, and a few other places. But allegedly, the two guests don't have any symptoms and are in isolation. They're being monitored by a medical team you see what i'm saying so it's like you get fully vaccinated you provide a pcr test a negative pcr test and you're still positive for covid19 boy oh boy that's definitely crazy right there i don't know what they're gonna do at this point take another vaccine or did they take the wrong vaccine i wonder which one they took i wonder if that news is gonna come forward if it does i'll definitely keep you up to date but listen up um in my opinion this is something that needs to be discussed right now in the Bahamas. And, of course, you know, just throughout the air because I think, what, April? April globally is Sexual Assault Month. And I'm just saying, in my opinion right now, this is something that got to be talked about all year around because sexual harassment is almost a way of life in the Bahamas. And it has been affecting our Bahamian women tremendously for years. It's so embedded in the culture that some may not be able to acknowledge when they're being sexually harassed or when they are sexually harassing someone. And most women are so afraid to even go to the authorities when situations escalate or are completely afraid to talk about it at all. So just recently, a Bahamian public figure by the name of Tap, you can find her on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, by the name they call me Tap. She just recently, you know, took to social media to share her story of herself, of course, being sexually harassed because she felt as though she was not being protected by authorities in no way. It's just sad for me to see this happening once again and just how often this happened to our women. And a lot of us feel forced to even say thank you or respond in some manner when a guy tell you you look nice, even though he's saying that you look so sweet, I'll lick you from head to toe. And a lot of men don't even realize that comments like that is sexually harassing and it needs to honestly stop Women don't enjoy it. I know I definitely do not enjoy hearing it. It crawls my skin. And it's just like, stop, man. And a lot of men, I'm realizing that they don't they don't know how to take rejection. And they believe that if a woman is just not interested in them, then she um, got to be interested in women or it has to be just something else going on. They just can't take the rejection. They can't accept it. So they keep on coming after you and coming after you, just hoping that you cave in or hoping at some point, you know, you give them a chance. And it's like it does not make women give you a chance when you constantly keep going after them and after them over and over again. So now I'm pretty sure I won't get all the um, all the parts of the stories right, but this is the gist of what happened to they call me tap well she stated that she went out she went out to a bar with a friend you know to a restaurant I say restaurant and bar with a friend and a guy sent a drink over and you know she accepted the drink and of course you know I guess he probably thought it was more than that uh, he's at least he probably thought he could have gotten more out of it than that and of course you know she wasn't interested then he took to social media started sending her I guess I think a few rude comments on social media and, of course, I'm not exactly sure what happened from there, but I know she went back out again to the same establishment. And, yeah, the guy happened to be there, and she was in her phone texting or, you know, scrolling through social media, and she just heard someone said good day, so she just said good day back to them. 
And then when she looked up, no, then the guy said, I needed to, I need to talk to you. And of course, when she realized who it was, you know, she told him that she was rejecting the conversation. She doesn't want to talk to him. And that's when things escalated. And of course, he got super loud and she asked for security. And then, you know, the persons of the establishment, the employees there, they said that the guy is very crazy. And it's just like, still, I don't care how crazy the guy is. Nonetheless, our women need to be protected in some form of fashion. And it's like a lot of men are just stand around and watch this happen and no one to just do anything. And it just feels as though women are just left in the open. And yeah, they're left to be so vulnerable and, you know, just easily to attack them right now. And I'm saying it's just super sad to see that this is happening. Once again, I'm pretty sure this is not the only situation. I'm sure that a lot of other women experience this. But this is just something that needs to be talked about more. And a lot more women definitely need to take the necessary steps. Go to the police. I don't care how many times you have to go. Go and continuously report it because these situations need to decrease, need to halt, need to come to some kind of stop at some point. But that's it for Chat Trap today. Just letting you know what's happening in the media. Jump back into the mix right now. Dex adapts with Wi-Fi.